Someone's, someone's coming, coming to the door. Someone's coming to the door. That's it. That's, That's it. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mate, you're under arrest. Come out. Come out the address. Keep walking towards me. Keep walking towards me. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Hands on your head. Stay where you are. Face me. Hands on your head. Stay where you are. You're under arrest, all right? Is there a mum in there? Yeah, there is. Okay, madam, if you come to the door for us, please. Alright, guys, this one's really sad. The guy's name was Daniel Hussein, found guilty of murdering two sisters in a London park. Daniel Hussein, 19, murdered Nicole Smallman, 27, and Bibar Henry, 46. He was said to have drawn up a contract in his blood with a demon to sacrifice women in return for winning a lottery. While the killings were not treated as a terrorist act, it can now be reported that the investigators considered that Hussein underwent a form of radicalization in terms of exposure to occult material on the so-called dark web. Investigators also believe he would have gone on to kill more women if he had not injured his hand when he murdered the two sisters. An injury Hussein put down on being robbed at knife point on a visit from hospital treatment the following day. After the jury's guilty verdict, Mrs Justice Whipple adjourned sentencing of Hussein to the 22nd of September at the Old Bailey and ordered reports into his mental health and impacts of his autism. So there you go, they're on him. But yeah man, how could someone be that fucked up where you're just killing two sisters in cold blood in a park? That's fucking crazy bro. Honestly, that's real crazy man, I can't lie. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to their family of course. And the mum mentioned she lost three, three daughters in the space of how long? Yeah, it's crazy, man. No idea. We're now 36 hours on and we don't, they're not, they haven't turned up. Impatient with the police response, Nikki's boyfriend, Adam, went to the park. Then Adam says, Mina, Mina, we found a knife. Mina, Mina, I'm going to need you to sit down. I found them, I found them, but they've gone, they've gone. Alright, so imagine that, yeah, the partner of the mother has gone looking for the girls, he's then found a knife, and then after that he's found the bodies of the girls. It's terribly sad, man. My thoughts and prayers go out to the family, the mother, you know what I'm saying, it's very sad. Rest in peace to the girls, you know what I'm saying. Alright guys, so in the picture shown you can see Hussein buying five kitchen knives at his local Asda. Here's a picture of one of the kitchen knives that he actually bought and used. His bank card, his phone and his driving license was also found in a pond nearby. There's a picture of his hand that he claimed that it happened when he got robbed, but actually it happened when the victims were struggling against him. Here's a picture of the sisters actually celebrating and having a good time. And then the pillow of the picture can be covered in blood after the killing. That can be shown. It's covered in blood. Very, very sad, guys. Very, very sad. Just be aware, like, a lot of people out here have mental health, man. So you've got to be careful when you're out here on these streets. You've got to watch. You've got to watch everything that's going on around you. You know? That's some crazy, crazy stuff. MTG Blogs. That's another video for you guys are out.